Hey, what's going on, good people? Armand Owens here once again with another episode of the Daily Unsung Leader, which has found its way uh, not being so daily um, as I've uh, you know chosen to skip a few days in between uh, videos. I'm probably going to do that on a consistent basis just because um, I got so much other stuff going on. You know, kind of got a real job, um, but I'm going to continue on doing this um, you know, consistently uh, throughout. Just may skip you know a day or two here in between but i'm continuing on with the uh 30 days of leadership hacks and day number seven is leadership by walking around you actually got to get out and talk to people you cannot you cannot do leadership by email you cannot do leadership by proxy you cannot do leadership you know by delegation you actually have to get out and have conversations with real people demonstrating that you're a real person with real understanding, real compassion, all these things, right? Um, and obviously, um, for, for those who are uh, who have read Linking on Leadership, you know that's one of the cornerstones of, of that fine book. And I highly, highly, highly recommend, if you have not read Linking on Leadership, very small book, very impactful though. Please, please, please go get that book. It won't take too much of your time, but you get an understanding of, you know, what, uh, you know, quite possibly the most pivotal president ever um, had to go through how he dealt with the the very, very volatile environment, you know, that, um, you know, that he presided over, so to speak. So um, understanding, you know, how to lead through the hardest times. You know, we are able to extract some of the, the best lessons from that. And one of the, you know, one of the things that he talked about is getting out of the office and circulating them out around the troops. Um, in 1861, uh, Lincoln spent more time, more time outside of the White House than he did in, uh, which is an amazing feat, right? Considering uh, the, the volatile situation of dealing with the Confederate who was looking to, you know, succeed from the Union. And I gotta tell you, man, like, uh, you know, I would not want to be, you know, in Lincoln's shoes at this point. Um, just thinking about the amount of people that probably want to kill him um, based on the things that he wants to, to get done. Um, you have an, uh, an immense, immense level of stress. Um, and the normal inclination, human inclination is to Hey, I need to make sure I'm protecting myself, you know, in the midst of all of this stuff, right? So I can be there, you know, to make the, you know, to make the calls that need to be made. But no, you know, he showed uh, amazing courage by going out and meeting with, you know, just about all of the troops, um, so that he can have a better understanding, not just, not just a strategic understanding of of what was going on with, you know, with the Civil War, but also having a tactical grasp of what was going on as well so and some people may say oh, you don't want to get too in the weeds um i think with that perspective um you go as you listen to your body you listen to uh yourself in terms of are you stretching yourself too thin um because he didn't go down to the you know to the battle battlefield in an effort to you know over overshadow his generals or anything like that but um knowing that he was the one to make the ultimate call he wanted to put his presence in the faces of the people of the soldiers that were going you know to the fight um and i i'm and i'm 1000 percent sure you know that it, it ignited within them man the president came out to see me i mean because they are aware of the dangers associated with what he was doing as well so i just think um you know that showed immense courage um and i think it showed an immense level of uh of, of brilliance um because a lot of the calls that he was making a lot of the decisions that he was making you know you know were informed by the tactical uh, information that he was getting, you know, on the battlefield, so to speak. So, um, going around having those conversations, you know, with 
uh, your team, going around, interacting, um, being a part of the team and not separating yourself um, is a very, very vital uh, tool that you can put into your toolbox uh, for leadership. So like I said, uh, it was rebranded, uh, you know, leadership by walking around. Um, but, you know, call it whatever you want to. But at the end of the day, you want to make sure that the people see you, they understand you, they know you, that that they know what you stand for. They know your vision. They know your heart, so to speak, um, because it's just going to draw, make that connection with you and your team, you know, even stronger. So um, plus, you're never surprised. You're never surprised, right? By being out and having those conversations and being on the on the deck plate, so to speak, um, you're always near. You always get get an understanding of what's happening, what's resonating, you know, at at the at the lower levels and how that's going to affect your strategic uh, thinking as a leader. So it is very very important to make sure that you're getting out there, having those conversations, interacting. Um, and uh, meeting the needs of your people because uh, they need to see you. They need to see you. Um, you know, in the submarine force, it's pretty easy uh, to do that. I know in the service force, um, in the Navy, it, it gets a little harder. And in, you know, larger organizations, you know, it gets a little harder because, you know, your the, the, the leaders that you appointed over those teams, you know, they kind of get a little bit antsy when you show up um, because there's a sense of maybe they're second guessing my actions. Maybe I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but make sure you're reassuring those leaders that, nope, now I'm just going around having these conversations, making sure that I understand, you know, what's happening um, as well. There's not an indictment on your ability to lead. I just want to come around and interact with the people that I have the privilege of leading, um, you know, because there may be some things that they'll share with me. There may be some things I'm able to pick up, um, you know, in that interaction that you may not be able to do so. So. It's not an indictment against the leaders that you've chosen, but it's in an effort to make you uh, more effective um, and put you in a better place to make uh, better decisions for your people too. So um, leadership by walking around. Yep, uh, can't stay in the office, can't hide behind that computer. Um, you gotta make sure people that you are accessible um, and that you are getting out and having that interaction with your team. Don't hide, don't hide behind it. Um, and uh, you know, don't submit to just the, the delegation um, that comes with you know the empowerment of, of, of the leaders that you've chosen. Um, you, you alone are accountable you know for your team's uh, success or failure. So um, that's all I got for today. Um, like, share, uh, comment, all those good things. Let me know uh, what you think. At at the end of the day, as well, we have the unsung leaders. Uh, Facebook group for talking about leadership. We're ta having those conversations. You know, we're mentoring, we're training, we're coaching, we're doing all those things, um, and just you know, trying to meet the need with the sole sole effort of uh, increasing our leadership effectiveness. So that's my kind of my life's passion. I think everything, everything at its root, um, has to do with leadership, the success or failure at every whether it be parenting, whether it be in schools, whether it be in organizations, it all hinges upon the leadership ability of the person that's in charge. And it's my goal to help make us all better leaders. Um, so, it's been real. Talk to you tomorrow on Sun Leader Out.